Today I'm going to be reviewing and testing out this Funduino water level sensor module that I bought on eBay for under a buck. Uh, other than the description on the eBay listing, I couldn't find any data on this exact sensor, although there are a few similar modules out there which probably have close to the same specs. Uh, keep in mind that this is an analog water level sensor and not just the Boolean type digital water sensor, which I've also seen for sale online for pretty cheap. Uh, this sensor is used to accurately detect the presence, the level, the volume, and or the absence of water. You can use it for many different projects. For example, you can use it to remind you to water your plants, um, gauge the rainfall, detect a leak. Um, I've used it specifically for uh, water pump protection. If the water pump is not fully submerged, uh, the circuit shuts down. And maybe I'll show you that project in a later video. And you notice there's just three header pins. There's a positive, a negative, and the analog out. So I'm just going to hook this green jumper to the negative the red jumper to the positive and I'll use this brown jumper for the analog connection unlike some modules available at this price um, I didn't have to solder on the header pins they came already intact So now what I'm going to do is uh, hook up the breadboard to 5 volts. In the um, description it says that the sensor can run on 3 to 5 volts. So it uh, shouldn't matter which you choose. Um, I haven't tried out 3 volts yet though. Then we're going to run ground to the negative rail on the breadboard. So now I'm just going to hook up the positive and negative jumper to the breadboard and then I'm going to stick the analog and I'm going to go ahead and plug the analog into the breadboard too just uh, maybe we'll get an extra couple centimeters of length on our wiring here which might be necessary to do this little test So I use this white jumper for the analog and again uh, I'm plugging that into the analog zero so now it's all hooked up I'm going to plug it in I've already uploaded the sketch to this board Alright, so I'm going to place this inside the empty glass here. And I've got the serial monitor on. I'm 
you'll notice it starts out with a value of zero which is good that means it's not detecting any water and then as soon as the water hits it it'll jump up and you can see how sensitive it is it can basically detect to the nearest millimeter the water water height This one's brand new right out of the package and it works great. So that's going to wrap it up for today. If you want to take a look at the sketch or link to the product on eBay, uh, go ahead and check the description below. I'll leave some links. And if you enjoyed this video or it helped you out at all, uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks. You like it!